Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be learning how to identify a valid or invalid pullback. A pullback is a temporary reversal before a continuation happens. Knowing this information will literally help you become a better trader and you will understand the direction of the price and also become a better smart money trader. Please watch out for the scammers in the comments section. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you give a video the like and put your comments in the comment section without saying much let's get into the video here we have a price that's given us a abc pattern now we have an impulse correction continuation but as a trader if you're not able to identify if this pullback is valid or not you're not going to be able to predict the move that's upcoming all right so let's say some most of the time what happens is this might be just an invalid pullback and then this might be just one entire move okay so you got to be able to identify if this pullback is, is fake or real all right and then here we are price giving us a bullish momentum we have all green candles each candle that's created is respecting the low of the previous candle so now what we're waiting for is we're waiting for the opposite candle to break through this bullish candle now let's say let's say we have a bearish candle that's formed around here okay this bearish candle did not close or did not cross over the previous bullish candle do we have a pullback yet no we don't have any pullback we just have to wait until we have a bearish candle that closes below the low of this candle or the law of this recent bullish candle so now we have a valid pullback all right now we have a valid pullback here too let's say the market is going down and creating a low high low low so now we have a b c pattern okay this is an impulse correction continuation this is your pullback but you got to be able to identify if this pullback is fake or real okay you got to be able to identify if this is a valid or invalid right so let's say here we have a lot of uh, we have a, a the price giving us a bearish momentum we have a bearish momentum here okay each candle is respecting each candle is respecting the is respecting basically the previous high uh, the previous highs okay so now we have a bullish candle that's formed around here let's say we have this bullish candle coming up okay let's say we have a bullish candle here but this bullish candle did not cross over the recent high of the bearish candle so do we have a pullback yet no we don't have a pullback what we're waiting for is we're waiting for a bullish candle to cross over or to invalidate the bearish candle here so now we have a valid pullback now we have a valid pullback we're just gonna wait for a continuation to the downside okay okay so now let's go to the real chart and see how it looks like on the real chart here we have we're going to start with the downtrend and then we're going to go to the uptrend okay so this is your last this is your last high bullish candle here okay so as long as the price is respecting the previous low here of this bullish candle we don't have any pullback yet or we don't have any reversal yet okay so now we have a candle here that's formed it did not cross over this bearish candle this is not a valid pullback yet so we're just going to wait until we have a crossover now we have this candle crossing over the previous bullish candle now we have an, a move to the downside we have a move to the downside so this is one entire move is this a pullback no this is not a pullback yet because it is respecting the previous bearish highs okay as long as it's respecting the previous bearish highs we are still in a downtrend here okay all right so now we have our low our bearish low here okay this is the low of your bearish candle and the high of your bearish candle here so now we have the price coming up invalidating or taking out the liquidity that was resting here or the high of this bearish candle so now what we get is we have now we have a pullback okay now we have a pullback okay now we have a pullback 
and continuation to the downside because we have a price that's breaking this high this low here now we have a continuation to the downside okay we have a continuation to the downside now okay all right do we have any pullback yet no we don't have it why because this is your recent high of the bearish candle and it is your recent low as long as the price is respecting as respecting the high of this bearish candle we don't have any pullback yet so this will be an entire move from here to here okay okay this is your last bearish candle high and low so now we have a candle that's closing above the previous bearish candle okay now we have another pullback here okay now we have another pullback here okay let's say this is your last bearish candle now this is the high of the uh, uh, pre, this is your, this is the high of the your recent bearish candle and the low of your recent bearish candle so now we're waiting for is we're waiting for the price to come over and to cross over the recent high of this bearish candle which we have so now we have another bearish we have another pullback here okay we have another pullback here so this is what it is right now we have another pullback and continuation to the downside now the price is respecting the low the high and the low of this bearish candle it went over crossed above the recent bearish candle okay now this is this bearish candle that's that's our recent bearish candle is invalidated so this means now we have a valid pullback and then now we have a continuation to the downside okay now we have a continuation to the downside this is your last bearish candle now and the low of your bearish candle so now what we need is we need a bullish candle cross over this bearish candle now we have that here what do we get here now we have another continuation to the downside so okay all right now that we know how it looks like on a downtrend let's see how it looks like on an uptrend market okay let's say we have a price invalidating our last bearish candle which means now we have a reversal to the upside price going up all the way up now we have a little bit of pullback here because we have a candle that's you know basically crossed over the recent low of your the bullish candle okay now we have a pull pullback here and now we have a continuation now we have another pullback here and continuation to the upside and now we have another continuation to the upside here crossing over this uh bullish candle okay now again we have another pullback here crossing over the low of this bearish candle okay the low of this bullish candle now we have another another correction here we have another continuation to the upside this is that this is one entire move here okay we have another continuation here and now we have a price invalidating the low of this price here now we have a correction okay this is uh, GBBUSD, so this means we are in a correction phase on GBBUSD on the recent price right now, all right? So next time what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create a video that's going to break down of how to trade a pullback or how to basically enter a trade using a pullback according to the smart money concept. If you're brand new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you leave your comment in the comment section again please watch out for the scammers in the comment uh in the comment section who are asking for money thank you very much again happy trading year peace out